Hey everyone, welcome back to Doge Me Games. It's Saturday. Uh, it's time for a rant, and I have a stain on my shirt. Very bright shirt with a dark stain. But that's not what I'm ranting about. Uh, I was ranting, ranting, ranting about. Uh, I was catching up on some girlfriend interviews. She just released, uh, they just released a new video about E3. It's hilarious. Um, but they were talking about uh, pre-rendered game reveal trailers, whatever, you know, the, the cutscene laden gives you no idea what the game play is like, how the game's going to interact with the player, uh, nothing. Um, so I want to talk about that because they're kind of pointless and a waste of talented people's money. Or, and time, I guess, more specifically, it's it's not the talented people's money, it's the publisher's money and the talented people's time. Because the talented people could be focusing on getting a trailer together that has gameplay mechanics and world building and explaining the systems within the game and, I don't know, maybe making some gameplay. Yeah, like, I, I am not an expert but I'm guessing the reason they do these is they can come up with a pre-rendered trailer um, much easier than they can get like a working, buildable prototype to show people early on. Um, okay, so just don't show your game off until you have a working prototype. Seems like an, a simple solution to me. Um, and I touched on this in, in other videos hyping up video games it, it, this is part of it you show a pre-rendered thing that gives you no indication of how the actual game is going to be and how many times do we see this happen need i mention cyberpunk that's kind of the big one um i i don't in, enjoy it and you know the the pre-rendered stuff sure it's neat and i liked the pre-rendered thing that battlefield did i liked the pre-rendered thing that elden ring did um, but they don't serve any real purpose to anything, and I could have done without them. I could have done with just the multiplayer gameplay trailer for, for Battlefield, and skipped the other thing. Like, yeah, it was cool, and you get to see the stuff, but I care more about, like, what the UI is gonna look like, and you know, what vehicles are gonna be in the game, and what weapons, and, you know, all the stuff that you actually get to experience as a player. So the, the, the pre-rendered things... I think in essence they take away from what we're looking for as gamers and it's almost like there's still that disconnect that exists between people that throw the money at the wall and hope that something sticks and the people that actually care about the industry and want to make content. Um, and why that still exists I, I don't know. You know, This is a, a jillion dollar industry at this point and uh, you'd think that those smart people would start to realize that, oh, I don't know jack about what my consumers want. Maybe I should ask the people that do. Just saying. Um, so if you agree with me, you know, let me know in the comments. Um, you know, it's fun cannon fodder, but at the end of the day, it's really, it's just, it's another Fast and the Furious movie. No offense, Fast and Furious people, but it's just another one. Or like another Saul movie, or another movie that probably has gotten too many sequels. Um, that's what pre-rendered cutscenes are to me now. Honestly, it's just like that was really neat, but I just I just want to see gameplay. Show me some more gameplay, please. Um, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, if you like this kind of content, I do rants every Saturday, so every week, and I do new videos every single day. So if you are interested in more gaming news content, X Y Z. Please stop back tomorrow. If you like the video, hit the like, subscribe, tell a friend, and thank you so much for watching. Take care. Now I gotta go play more of Dark Alliance. So catch the live stream. Bye.